I want to talk about actually changing your life, right? You hear that a lot. I can name 30 things to help you change your life, but I don't have three. I don't have 20 hours on here to talk, but I just really want you to sit here and think, and I've been doing this lately. I'm going to do this on every live. Like I want you to really visualize the greatest you, like really visualize that person, like have a conversation with that person. Please think about that. Like what is the greatest you feel like, look like, right? Talk like, speak like, what's your mentality? All of those things, because the thing that bothers me the most is that a lot of people say they want change, right? They say they want it. We hear it, right? We see it. We see people talk, type it. And I'm saying this because that was me. So I'm not just picking on you guys. I'm not having, I'm not uh, being super insensitive at all, but I want to create change in your life. Okay. And I cannot create it without your permission. I can only influence it. But at the end of the day, you really like, it has to be a point where you say, okay, I'm actually going to do a transformation. I'm actually going to do this things that I said I was going to do. I'm actually going to leave this environment because it's toxic. I'm actually going to build a better environment. I'm actually going to stop having the habits in my life that are holding my life back because you, I just, I want to just put this out here before I get started. You can listen to all the videos you want. You can, you can read all the books that you want. You can do all these things, which are great. It's a great first step. But if you're not having any application to your life, if you're really not tired, of, uh, sick and tired of being sick and tired, nothing will happen. Okay, so I want to talk about three simple things today that will help you change your life. And I'm not being insensitive to you. I'm being trent to you, as real as I can put it, because I needed somebody to slap me with the truth in my face to help me change. The truth often hurts, but I promise you this, it will help if you apply it to your life. Number one, and write these things down, okay, and, and go over these things after we get off a lot. Number one, stop, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop feeling sorry for yourself, okay? I want to say this, and I want you to think like this, and it's not all the way true because people do care about you. I care about you, but I want you to start thinking like this. Nobody cares, okay? Nobody cares. I think a lot of times what we do is that when we feel sorry for ourselves, it makes us feel okay, right? It makes I'm not going to say it makes us feel good. It makes us feel okay about where we're at. And when we're okay about where we're at, guess what? We don't have enough leverage. We don't have enough momentum. We don't have enough motivation, inspiration to help us make a change, to help us take a step forward. So I want you to understand that, like, stop feeling sorry for yourself. That's one of the things that I did. I was feeling sorry for myself. You know my story. I was in my mom's room thinking everybody in the world was going to care. I got cut from the NFL. But you know what? You know what was real? On the first of the month, bills were still due. I couldn't tell the... The car note people about my sympathy story and they were going to let me slide without my car note. No, I had to get off my butt. Other people that I thought would be there for me forever. Like, no, they had their own life. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Okay, because that's not a way to live life. Why are you feeling sorry for yourself? Start being thankful for yourself. Start being thankful for your situation. Start thanking yourself now. Start being grateful for your struggle, for your problems. Am I saying put yourself through struggle on purpose? No, I'm not saying that. But when you change your mindset towards your struggle, you start to let the struggle build you. So now when I look back, the times when I was feeling sorry for myself, I should have been thankful because it was those times that built the person that you see today. It was those times that strengthened my mindset. If I would have never lost that time in my life, I would have never gained this time in my life. OK, so number one, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And you know what I mean by that? Nobody's going to change your life but you, right? If you're feeling sorry for yourself in a fitness journey, I was feeling sorry for myself a few months ago. I was like, man, I'm out of shape. I'm tired. I don't even like, I got to wear big clothes. I'm trying to hide my size. All these things. I had lack of energy. I was feeling sorry for myself, but then I realized, can't nobody change this but me. Can't nobody do anything about it but me, period. So I changed my mindset, okay? A simple thing, but I see so many people live in blame. And as long as you're living in blame, you can never create change. As long as you live in blame, you can never create change. As long as you're living like this, you can never create change. You have to do this. You have to take ownership over your life, period, okay? Number one, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Number two, change the conversations that you are having with yourself, okay? Stop being your biggest opponent, please. Stop telling yourself what you can't do. 
Stop telling yourself that you will never heal. Stop telling yourself that your life is over. Stop telling yourself that your future doesn't hold your hold better. Stop telling yourself that your past was your greatest life. Stop telling yourself that you won't leave this situation. Stop being your limited beliefs, right? The world has enough of that for you. The world's going to tell you what you can't do. The world's already going to tell you what you can't be, right? The person that caused so much pain in your life is already telling you that you can't survive without them. And what do we do? We believe it. We believe it and we start to live it. We take the lies of the world. We take the lies of the world and we make that our truth. Literally. And that's the conversation that we have with ourselves. Like, I can always tell a weak mindset. And I hate to use the word weak, but it's just true. And I had a weak mindset at one point too, so I ain't judging you. And this is what we all here for, to change that weak mindset. But I always know a weak mindset because a weak mindset always says the magic words, right? Easier said than done. A weak mindset always says, well, I can't. A weak mindset, well, you know, I get it, but it's just too hard. But, 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 right? I can't do it, but. I, I want to do it, but. I want to change, but. Forget the but, all right? Start saying, I'm going to change because I have to change. I must change. I will change. You got to change these conversations that you have. The world is not your opponent. Your biggest opponent is not them. Do you realize that? Whatever them is, whether it's an addiction, whether it's a person, whether it's yourself, right? Your biggest opponent, well, you are your biggest opponent. Your biggest opponent is not them. It's not the external things in the world. Your biggest opponent is within. This is your biggest opponent right here. Change the conversations you have with yourself. Every time you start to tell yourself what you can't do, right? Start to remind yourself of how incredible you are because you're incredible. It doesn't matter what someone's, that's someone's a, opinion. <laughs> I almost said something else, but y'all got me fired up. That is someone's opinion of you. Their opinion is not your truth, right? It's not. This is a chapter of your life. This chapter is not your story. Please change the conversation. And you might say, what's well, hard because you know, because the environment that I'm in, and I always tell you before, like this, I could add this as a 2B on this. It's hard to change the conversations that you have with yourself when you're in an environment that promotes those conversations that you have with yourself. You feel me? Some of us are around people. And you know, I talk about your circle a lot. And I'm going to do that to the day I leave here. But some of us are around people that encourage those conversations that I'm not enough that I won't be enough, that there's not better for my life. There's nothing more to my life. And we are, we stay around these type of people and environments. I can promise you this. Well, you know this right now because you're on live. If you're around me, there's no way. There's no way you're having a negative conversation with yourself at all. It's not happening. It's not happening because you can control that. And, and let me talk about this for a second. Everything that I'm talking about tonight, everything are things that you can control. Think about it. Nobody, it's, it's all internal things, all internal things. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. That's internal. That don't depend on nobody else, right? The second thing, the conversation that you have with yourself, changing these conversations, that's internal. That's something that you can control, okay? And the third thing, start challenging yourself. Start, okay? So if you have these conversations of I can't, I challenge you. I challenge you to prove, prove, prove me right, right? Prove yourself wrong. Prove yourself wrong, period. If you, if you saying what you can't do, go prove yourself right, right? Go prove yourself right. If, that, if that's what you think that it is. And I know you're going to prove yourself wrong. That's what I'm saying that because if you try, if you try, that means you're doing it. That means that you can, okay? But I want you to prove me right. All right, I want you to prove me right. I want you to go do it. Every time I have a, lim a, a limitation on me in my mindset, I don't keep that limitation in my life. I don't. I don't. I don't like sit on that limit. I don't accept that limitation. I don't. I go challenge it. So when I'm feeling like I'm not enough because I go through moments where I feel like that. Yes, I'm a human being just like you guys. I challenge it. I challenge those thoughts. When I feel like I can't accomplish something, I challenge it. When I feel like I can't move on from something, I challenge it. And what you'll start to see is that you can do anything that you want to do. 
A lot of us, we just don't want to go through the pain it takes to get through it. A lot of us just don't want to go through the loneliness. Like a lot of us, we just want it easy. And unfortunately, change isn't easy. It's not. I, I wish I had a formula to make change peaceful, to make change feel great. Unfortunately, change doesn't feel good all the time. Change sucks. When you got to lose certain people out your life that you're used to, that you love. When you got to change different habits that you're accustomed to, but don't serve and grow your life. It's hard. It's hard. Change is, is it's terribly hard. But change is incredibly worth it. I can promise you that. So go challenge yourself. Whatever it is, start challenging it. Don't just accept it. Challenge the thoughts with action. Challenge the thoughts with facts. That start challenging yourself is really just facts over feelings. That's it. And I promise you, if you do these three things, you will start to see change in your life. Period. Like a lot of us, we, and it's excuses. It's excuses. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. It's excuses. A lot of us, we find excuses. Oh, you know, it's because of this that my life is like this. No, it's because... You're accepting that this, whatever this is, has the power to control your life when it doesn't. That's the problem. Life is not about what happens to you. Life is about how you respond to what happens to you. And guess what? You might not be in control of what happens to you, but you're always in control of how you respond. You're in control of that. And that's what I try to get you guys to understand with anything that I talk about. That's why Rehab Time... Slogan is it all starts with you because when you understand that you're in control of these things, you can start to change these things, right? You can start to change these things and it's nobody's fault but yours. Am I saying what somebody did to you is your fault? No, I'm not saying that at all. But where you're choosing to stay, what you're choosing to accept, that's on you, man. Change isn't a, a hard decision to make. It's a choice. And some of us will never change our lives because of the choices that we make. When you start making better choices, when you start choosing wisely, you will start to see progression in your life. And I want to be clear. Progression is sometimes a slow process. You know, I wanted to lose 30 pounds overnight, but it, it didn't happen like that. It was a slow pro process. It was a progression, but I fell in love with it. I started falling in love with who I was becoming. I started falling in love with the conversations that I had with myself. So when I'm doubting myself, I change that conversation. I talk to myself with confidence. I talk to myself with power. I say, why are you doubting yourself? You a beast. You a beast. And if you guys were on my Instagram live a few weeks back, I was running on this, I was doing this, uh, this treadmill challenge and I wasn't getting the time that I wanted and I didn't think I could get it. And I started to doubt myself and I literally flipped the switch, flip, flip. I flipped the switch and I said, you know what? Why are you doubting yourself? You a beast. Go get it. And I made it happen. I'm not saying talking to yourself will change your whole entire life, but it puts you in a better position to operate your life. Because if you're negative 24-7, if you are having limitations 24-7, if you're accepting less 24-7, right? This is pointless. Everything I'm telling you is pointless. And you're going to live the same day, the same life until it's, it's over for you. And you deserve better. You do. But you know what? You also deserve exactly what you settle for. So maybe you choose what you deserve. It's either one or the other. And I know there's more to your life. I know there's better for your life. But you can't just keep hearing this message and think that's going to change your life. It's not. You got to really be sick. You got to do it for you. Don't do it for me. Do it for you. No book is going to change your life. No speech is going to change your life. It's not. It's you actually taking it and saying, you know what? Okay, Trent, I heard you. I'm going to stop feeling sorry for myself. This is what I'm going to do to stop feeling sorry for myself. Okay, Trent, I heard you. I'm going to change the conversations that I have with myself. Okay, Trent, I heard you. I'm going to start challenging. I'm going to start challenging myself. And do it consistently. 
I don't have some secret formula to life. I just know what I want out of life. I know what I'm not going to settle for. I know what I'm not going to be around. I know those things. I need you to know that. And trust me, you can say whatever it is you want to say in these comments about Trent. This is my situation. You don't understand. I, I don't. I get it. I understand it. I do. I get it. I know it's hard. But it's like, what do you want? Right? Do you want to just accept the situation and keep complaining the rest of your life? Or do you want to say, you know what? I'm going to make a change. I'm going to make a change because it's beautiful living your life. And I'm not saying struggle free because I still struggle. But it's beautiful living your life when you know that you're moving forward every single day. That you're growing every single day. That you're alive every single day. Some of us, we just existing. That's it. Some of us don't even wake up with passions like, oh, it's another day. Nah. You deserve more, man. These are three simple things that you can control to help change your life. All right? Stop feeling sorry for yourself because nobody cares. Right? And that doesn't mean don't take it. Like some people do care about you. But in the, the world, they don't care. Right? Like I said, tell the bill collectors that whatever your problem or struggle is, they still want their bills. They still want their money. It's just, that's life. Number two, change the conversations you're having with yourself. And number three, start challenging yourself, okay? I appreciate you all. Yes, and I've seen somebody write that. I'm not saying that you're wrong for grieving. I mean, I'm sure you've seen my messages. Like, I talk about that all the time. But listen, how long are you going to stay there? Period. Like, you can't, like... Never put a timeline on your healing. But I can tell you one thing. You will never heal, period. It's, no, it's a 0% chance by staying in the pain. Okay? And we all have different situations and different things. But you are allowed. Whatever, you're a, you can do whatever you want to do. It's your life. But I can tell you one thing. I can guarantee it. I can guarantee this. Change will not happen by staying in the same place. That's facts. And I challenge anybody to challenge me on that thought. It's, it's, it's impossible for it to happen. It doesn't mean that you just get over it and forget it. No, but you move forward. And yeah, sometimes you got to be still. Sometimes you got to go through your period where it's like, man, this sucks, man. And But listen, that's not, at the end of the day, you got to make a decision. Either I'm going to stay here or I'm going to move from here. And that's it. I've struggled with depression. I've struggled with anxiety, right? None of us are free. If you listen to my message, you know I said it all the time. I still struggle with it. But my question is, what, what, what systems are you putting in place to help you, right? To help you. That, that's what this whole message is about. It's not about, you know, oh, you have an issue or a problem and to, to deal with it and just that's it. No. What are you putting in place to actually make changes? So if you suffer from these things, what are you doing, right? What are you eating, right? Are you creating movement in your life? Are you just accepting your depression? Are you being grateful, because depression can't exist when you're grateful with a de depression cannot exist with appreciation. It can't. Not at the same time. Right? These are things that I've been through. Things that I currently go through at times, but I don't stay there. Because staying there is not going to change anything. And I get it. There's people with medical conditions and deeper stuff. This is not a three-step process to automatically change your life. It's work. I've been working on myself for 10 years. But the whole point of this message is not saying... Okay, I have depression, anxiety, so that's that's my excuse to to live my life, the, the, the uh, to live my life this way the rest of my life. No, right? No. How can I get? How can I figure this out? How can I deal with it better? Where can I get help at? How can I change my environment? What's causing these things? That's what I care about. Get a, get with the pressure. Are you praying? Do you have a prayer group? Like all these things. I'm saying you got to have things in place. You can't just accept it and say, this is who I am. Accept it. No, I know people with like cancers with, with no arms, limbs, right? Paralyzed. They can easily say like, Hey, I'm paralyzed. This is my reason why I'm depressed, right? You can find people like that, but I know people that say, you know what? I'm going to turn this into my strength. I'm going to figure this out. Right. I'm going to do I'm going to I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this make allow this to make me a better me. Right. That's my point in these messages. And like I said, it's not me being insensitive because half of the struggles that a lot of you've been through. I've been there. I've been there. I have. I battled suicidal thoughts. I battled depression. I battled all those things. 
but I know what it feels like to rise above those things. Depression is real. Go watch my video, Life is Over. Depression is real, but so is deliverance. You can heal from those afflictions, overcome those addictions, right? I would encourage you to find somebody who's been in your situation who's rose above that situation. And like I said, it's not as easy as I'm saying. Of course, it's not, e you know, it's easier said than done. That's, everybody knows that. But you really have to take ownership over your life. You really have to do the things necessary. Get in a growth environment, right? Little things has changed the conversations you're having with yourself, right? How are you starting your day? Are you, are you working out every day? Are you going for walks and jogs? Are you protecting your peace? I always say nature is good for the soul. Where do you think protect your peace came from? You think I just wanted to go walk in the woods? <laughs> no. I hike because it helps with my anxiety at times. It helps with my depression at times. And I say this because my depression isn't like I live in depression, but it comes. Like everybody has a form of it at some point. Feelings come. We're human beings. Feelings are real, but they aren't always right. And I refuse to accept the feelings that don't serve my life. And I challenge those feelings with facts. That's what this is about, okay? You can either accept it or you can say, you know what? I'm not accepting. I don't know how I'm going to get through this, but I'm not accepting it. That's the mindset you need to have, all right? So I appreciate you guys. I got to go, all right? Let's get it.